everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and today I'm going to be giving you my five star predictions. Now, you've probably seen these videos going around quite a bit on book two, but the point of this video is I'm going to give you five books that I haven't read yet that I think I'm going to give five stars. Then once I've read all five of these books, I'll film a reaction video letting you know how I really felt about them, whether or not I gave them five stars. So without further ado, let's get started. My first five star prediction is by an author who I swear I've mentioned in every video I've filmed so far, and that is A Very Large Expensive Sea by Tahara Mafi. This book follows 16 year old Shireen, who is a Muslim teenager living in the United States in 2002, the year after the terrorist attacks on the Twin Towers. She is trying to navigate the hate she experiences living in America in such a volatile time. This book does draw a lot on Tahiramafi's own experiences during that time and just throughout her life. I feel like this is going to be very powerful. There is also a romance in here with a boy named Ocean. I'm really excited to experience this, experience Tahara writing in a contemporary setting as opposed to the fantasy world of Shatter Me. I love everything that she has done so far. I'm sure this will be no different. Surprise, that's the only of these five that I own. My next five star prediction is Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. I have read how many? Three or four? I've read four of Frederick Bachman's works so far and loved every single one of them. Again, sure, this one will be no different. Bear Town is a story about a hockey town, and there is an event that takes place that I'm not going to spoil that breaks the town in two, essentially. It pits neighbors against neighbors, being on opposite sides of the issue. I've heard that it's really hard hitting. This one is a duology that I've heard nothing but great things about. Again, very excited to dive Again, very excited to dive into this one. Third is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is Taylor Jenkins Reid's newest release. I've read two of her books so far, loved them both. Sure that I'll love this one. Daisy Jones and the Six follows a 70s rock band called Daisy Jones and the Six that have since broken up. And the book is told in an interview style format with all the members of the band talking about how they met, their rise to fame, and why they broke up. The one comment that I've heard the most about this one is that it's so atmospheric that it's hard to believe that this wasn't an actual band. And a lot of people said that same thing about The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, that it was hard to believe that Evelyn Hugo is not a real celebrity. So I did experience that with Evelyn Hugo, and I love Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing. I think this plot and this premise sound so fascinating, and I'm just ready to experience some more work from her. Next on my list is If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This book is a little bit out of my usual comfort zone, but I've heard fantastic things from reviewers that I really respect their opinion, so I'm definitely ready to give this one a shot. This one begins as a man gets out of prison for a murder that he may or may not have committed, and one of the first people that he sees when he gets out of prison is the detective that put him in prison, and he wants to know the true story of what happened 10 years earlier. So we go back 10 years to when the main character was in college studying Shakespeare and there is a murder amongst his theater group and we get to find out the real story of what happened. If this is giving you the secret history vibes, I totally agree and I've heard that from a ton of people. I have read the secret history and I did enjoy it so I'm hoping this one will be kind of in the same vein, give that same feeling, but I'm hoping that I will like this one slightly more. And the last book on my list is Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is the author duo that wrote the Illuminae trilogy, which I have read and completely adored. I've said this in a past video, I don't usually pick up sci-fi, but when I do, I absolutely love it. And I already know that I love this author pair's work. So I'm just, this is just a recipe for success. To describe this book, I'm just gonna read you a little bit of the Goodreads synopsis to kind of give you a feel for it. The year is 2380 and the graduating cadets of Aurora Academy are being assigned their first missions. Star pupil Tyler Jones is ready to recruit the squad of his dreams, but his own boneheaded heroism sees him stuck with the dregs nobody else in the Academy would touch. A cocky diplomat with a black belt in sarcasm, a sociopath scientist with a fondness for shooting her bunkmates, a smartass tech whiz with the galaxy's biggest chip on his shoulder, an alien warrior with anger management issues, a tomboy pilot who's totally not into him, in case you were wondering. And the line of the synopsis that got me the most, they're not the heroes we deserve, they're just the ones we could find. Nobody panic. But that totally sounds like that's something up my alley. I am just 
I'm just ready. I'm just ready for this one. And by the time you're seeing this video, Aurora Rising will have just come out about a week before, so hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on it real soon. So that is it for my five-star predictions. Hopefully these go as well as I think they're going to. Like I said in the beginning, once I have read all five of these, I'm going to film a reaction video and let you know my thoughts on all five of these books. So two or three months down the line, if you still haven't seen a reaction, come at me on Instagram and tell me to get on these books. If you've read any of these books or have any thoughts on them, let me know what they are in the comments down below. Until next time.